What is up guys, George Mason here today. I'm gonna to be doing a summary of 2015 on YouTube. What a year it has been. We're gonna get into what some of my favorite YouTubers have achieved in 2015 and just the whole year of 2015 on YouTube, really. 2015, what can I say? What a year it has been for YouTube and for YouTubers. We've had laughs. This is basically, look, make me look as ridiculous. I can't see, there's so much Around the goggles. <laughs> we've had tears. <laughs> we're just kids. From kids. <laughs> and we've had outrage. Fat shaming. Who came up with that? That's fucking brilliant. Yes. But overall, what a year it's been for YouTube. It feels like it's flashed by. In 2015, we've had some firsts. We've had for the first time we've seen YouTubers hit the big screen. Joe Sugg and Casper Lee had their own full-length feature film released called Joe and Casper Hits the Road which is unbelievable for a YouTuber to, someone who creates videos in their room, edits them on their computer, to have a full length feature film where they travel the world is just absolutely groundbreaking for YouTube and what makes 2015 one of the best years YouTube has ever had. Speaking of Casper Lee, he was on a roll in 2015. He made his two films, Joe and Casper Hits the Road and also Laid in America with KSI, who I'm sure you all know from his FIFA videos. Another YouTuber I watched this year that had a film released about them was Tyler Oakley. He had a full length documentary hitting the big screens about him and his whole life and the struggle that he's gone through being the person he is. But like any year, there's been ups and there's been downs. Dear Fat People sent the YouTube community into a frenzy after Nicole Arba released her video of shaming fat people. She released a video where she shaded oversized people in a way that wasn't comedy but was just bullying. Even though this was a terrible video, it really showed how the YouTube community can pull together. Speaking of outrageous year, someone we thought we left in 2014, Sam Pepper striked again. This year with his best friend murder prank. Again, this sent the YouTube community in a huge frenzy. They tried to get it banned off YouTube. They made petitions with a whole load of YouTubers signing it, including Jack Scap, and I think it had over 150,000 signatures. However, YouTuber refused to remove Sam Pepper's channel and remove the video, so I guess we're just gonna have to live with it until 2016. 2016 has seen some channels explode. One of the largest I've seen is Joe Weller. He started 2015 with 300,000 subscribers, and now at the end, coming into 2016, he has 2.8 million. His three most popular videos were uploaded this year. Ronaldo picking up the girls in public, WWE finishes on girls, and WWE finishes in public. He's just grinded really hard this year. He's got in with some absolutely brilliant viral videos and he deserves it. He really worked hard this year and he's, as I say, his channel has exploded. He has exploded as a person and it's just really breaking through the YouTube barriers. Now on to books. Now books were something that were groundbreaking at first. When we first, they first came in in 2014, we thought they were amazing. Pointless book first releasing the Pointless book then The Girl Online. You know, they were groundbreaking and they really were something quite amazing. But sooner rather than later, it became something that everyone and their uncle had. But by far the most successful in 2014 was Zoella, Zoe Sugg, with her book, The Girl Online. That was in 2014, but now in 2015, Zoe Sugg released a sequel to that book, The Girl Online on tour. Once again, she ripped apart the charts, going straight to number one, selling 56,000 copies in the first week, absolutely blowing Tyler Oakley with his book, Binge Out the Water, and PewDiePie, This Book Loves You. Tyler Oakley's book sold 9,000 and PewDiePie's book sold 8,000 in the first week. Music wise, it's been an amazing year on YouTube and it's been an amazing year for composers and artists on YouTube. They've really broke the barriers between YouTube artists and mainstream artists. Most noticeably, Troy Sivan with his new EP, Blue Neighbourhood. He sold 65,000 copies in the first week that it was released. Another YouTuber that blew up the music industry this year was KSI. JJ, KSI or LGBT. He released his first ever EP, Keep Up, featuring a whole range of artists from YouTube artists to mainstream artists. In two words, I would have to say, YouTube of 2015 has been the year of daily vlogging. Let's be honest, who doesn't daily vlog nowadays? Any YouTuber that has probably over 100,000 subscribers has a daily vlogging channel. And let's be honest, everyone loves them. The most noticeable vlogging channel that has exploded in 2015 was Roman Atwood Vlogs. He's now got nearly 5 million subscribers and racks up around 1.5 million views a day on his daily vlogs. Something that no one would have ever dreamed would have happened. I don't think he could have ever dreamed that. But as I say, it's groundbreaking, another huge year for YouTubers 
and especially daily vloggers. But yeah guys, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Tell me if I should do this next year and tell me if you enjoyed this at all. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. This has been George Mason TV. Over and out. But to the size of the stroke by moving that bar and you can also alter the colour of it by pressing this. Um, as you